today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to drift better in Southwest Florida This is gonna be a very helpful video. So make sure you watch the whole thing till the end I'm gonna show you guys tips and tricks even secrets which you won't want to miss So first you want to get a good drift car the 2019 Chevy Corvette Z06 over in the coupe section the Mustang TRT spec 3 is another brilliant drift car with the Camaro Z01 the 2012 one right here is also another really good drift car and the 2013 BMW M3 by the way these are all rear wheel drive cars so keep that in mind a Dodge Charger Hellcat is really good even a Maserati Quattroporte GTS is really good you just have to upgrade these and put some drift tires on it heck even if you want to use a Maybach limo put some drift tires on this thing and you're gonna be swinging corners like it's nothing let me show you Woohoo! look at this thing Oh my, it's really good at drifting. But keep in mind, you should upgrade these cars and put drift tires on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's just so smooth, it's so clean. Look at it, holy moly, it's good. The 4GT is also really fun to use. Plus, it's so good at doing burnouts. Let me just show you guys, take a look at this. This thing will do burnouts forever. It will honestly do a burnout forever. I, I should literally set a timer and this thing will do burnouts forever. And keep in mind, this car is stock just with drift tires. So yeah, this car is honestly crazy at burnouts. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my. The burnouts don't stop, guys. I'm going to go through this whole road doing a burnout. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there, but I could keep going. It's that good at burnouts, okay? So drop a like and subscribe if you guys like this car. So right here, I have my Mazda 3, and you're probably thinking, Joji, how is this car gonna be good at drifting? Well, if you want to, you can always change your car's drivetrain. Like, I'm gonna make a rear-wheel drive right now just to show you that mainly any car can be good at drifting. Then, I'm gonna get some drift tires on this bad boy. We have made the drift Mazda 3. Just take a look at this car, okay, everybody? Take a look at this thing drift. I messed that one up. That was my fault. That was my fault. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like that. You see, it's not the best, but if you get used to it, I'm sure it'll be good. But now, for step two on how to get better at drifting in Southwest Florida, what you're going to want to do is set up an obstacle course or a drift course or a drift track whatever you want to name it and i have actually set up my own drift course right here so we're gonna start off right here then we're going to drift through these light posts right here we're gonna just drift around them do a nice little figure eight around them just like this this is a great way to learn the control of your car as we can see i'm just drifting around the figure eight we got a bunch of other people right here with me too and it's a great way to just get a good feel for your car then after i'm done that i like to move on over here i've even placed some cones to help me i'm drifting through here then drift around this roundabout okay go all the way down here get some speed then slam on the brakes drift through this whole corner then go do the figure eight course again it's that simple guys by practicing this you can get better at drifting so remember this is what it looks like it's just very simple and if you want to place down cones make sure you're on the police job or the sheriff job as we can see we got a bunch of people drifting the course like look at this guy in the ferrari 250 gto he is killing it right now oh ho, ho, ho. Oh, clean. Oh, little bit of lag. So we are now at the second track that I have just built. And I'm going to take you guys through it, okay? Follow my lead. So we're going to want to start off in the plaza area. You know, the newer plaza area. And you want to get a good drift car. Right now, I got my Infiniti G37. So what you're going to want to do is start off right here in these parking spots. Then you're going to want to go down here, all right? Make a right turn all the way through here, just like that. Then, you're going to want to make a left right here. Go through it right there. All right. Then, you want to make a right turn right here. Perfect, perfect. You want to go right here. Make another right turn. Then, this is the big turn right here. You want to drift through this whole area. Then, you want to switch it around to the right. Then, you want to make another left turn right here. 
and then you want to make another left turn and make a right turn out to the main road and that is the drift track number two that simple i know it's kind of it's kind of hard to do but hey if you keep practicing this you're gonna become such a good drifter now we're gonna watch all the other contestants do it you can see we got some other people going we got the classic mustang that's also a really good drift car we even have an r32 we got a dirt tomaso we got an old m3 yeah this is dope but yeah this drift track is really fun this will definitely help you guys get better at drifting because it's gonna teach you how to change your car's direction how to drift in the tight areas so i really suggest you guys doing this track and the first one with the first turn right here we want to just swing it around don't touch anything perfect then we want to hit the left oh no i kind of just okay i messed that one up then we want to make a turn right here this one's tight okay not bad not bad but then we want to make another one clean then the big turn right here this here we go okay there we go it didn't happen that time oh oh my yes Yes! Jeez, dude, this, these, these, these are so clean. I can't even speak. Oh my, we're just out of there, man. Oh yeah. Oh my, dude, this car is actually insane. Why is this car so good? Why? No! This is the best drift car I've ever used. There's no way. There's no way I go through the whole drift track without touching anything. Okay, yo, you guys have to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm serious. What the heck? Brother, this car is crazy. We are now here on the final finale, the end of the drift track. So, okay, this one is in a different spot. It's actually off-road, so this is gonna be interesting. Let me take you through it. So, we're gonna wanna start off on the road right here. Make a right turn into the drift uh, trail or uh, whatever. Make a left. Then, make a right turn right here. You're gonna wanna drift through here, okay? You're just gonna follow the, the track, basically. But, you're drifting, okay? Oh my... Clean, pretty clean. Oh, over the jump. Yes, there is gonna be jumps. This jump. Okay. Oh my goodness. Make sure you don't have a low car if you're doing this also. But yeah, you want to drift this. Look at everybody. Oh my god. There's jumps. More jumps. Drift this. Clean drifts. Okay, that's what I'd like to see. Let's hit him with another drift right here. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Oh my. Okay. Okay, okay. Then you want to drift through this whole thing. Nice. Honestly, pretty good. It's very simple and easy to do. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe right now. And also go watch this video where I hosted a Hellcat Street Takeover in Southwest Florida. Peace out.